Jack and the Beanstalk. Deep in the countryside lived a widow and her son, Jack. Their cottage was crumbling and their clothes were patched. They were very, very poor. One day, Jack's mother said, We must sell our cow. Take her to market, Jack, and bring home some gold pieces. And so he set off to town. But before Jack had got very far, he met a strange little man. That's a fine cow, the man said. I'll swap you five magic beans for her. Magic beans, said Jack. Are they really magic? Magic they are, or chop off my beard and knit it into a jumper, croaked the little man. Magic beans! Jack couldn't wait to tell his mother. He clutched them tightly and ran all the way home. Jack's mother was furious. We need money, not useless old beans, she cried. And she threw them out of the window in disgust. But late that night, a tiny bean sprout poked out through the ground. And then it grew and grew and grew. The next morning, the beanstalk stretched high into the sky. The beans were magic, Jack cried. But what's on top? Jack climbed up, up, up the beanstalk. At last, he reached the very top. There, shimmering in the sunlight, was... A magnificent castle. Just then, Jack's stomach rumbled. I must find some breakfast, he thought, and he tapped on the castle door. The door creaked open and a huge giantess smiled down. Hello, Jack, shouted up. Please, do you have any food? Oh, you poor thing, boomed the giantess. Come right in, but quickly, before the giant gets up. What a marvellous feast. There was an enormous loaf of bread and a gigantic jar of jam. Jack tucked in at once. But suddenly the room began to shake. Boom, boom, boom. Goodness me! cried the giantess. He's coming! And he shoved Jack under a teacup to hide. Into the room stomped a big, scary, hungry giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an English man. He said, be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Don't be silly, there's nobody here but us, the giantess scolded. Now go and wash before breakfast. Jack trembled and shook. I must leave now, he thought. He was halfway down the hall when he heard... Squawk! It was a hen with bright golden feathers. Help! he clucked. Set me free and I'll lay you golden eggs every morning. Jack scooped up the hen, but then he heard huge footprints thundering after them. Fee, fi, fo, fum, roared the giant. I smell the blood of an English man. And there he is. Jack raced out of the door. He jumped and slid down the beanstalk. 
down, down, down. All the way back to his cottage. Mother, quick, bring the axe, he shouted. Jack's mother swung the axe at the beanstalk. Thwack! It shuddered and shook, and then the giant came tumbling down. Fee, fi, fo, crash. And that was the end of the giant. Jack hugged his mother tight. Look what I found, he said, and he showed her golden hen. Oh, Jack, said his mother, I'm so glad you're safe and you're right about those magic beans. So Jack, his mother and the golden hen all lived happily ever after and with lots of golden eggs, they were never poor again.